So Sherlock Gnomes comes out next week, huh? All right, let's get started. So Nomeo and Juliet starts off with a rather tasteful reader explaining how this is indeed an adaptation and not everything from William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet is going to be a part of this story. That being said, this film has a lot of callbacks to the original story that don't really make sense context-wise to the overall story unless I would explain the original, so better yet. I'll just explain generally what is happening as I'm sure none of the intricacies will matter much going into Sherlock Gnomes. So garden gnomes are real, you have two separate humans who have adjointed lawns, the red and the blue gnomes. They hate each other and are constantly feuding with one another. The gnomes hold a back alley lawnmower race with Gnomeo driving for the blue lawn and Tybalt for the red lawn. Tybalt cheats to win the race, destroying Nomeo's lawnmower. This causes the owner of the blue lawn to order a new lawnmower. In an attempt at revenge, Nomeo and Benny infiltrate the Red Garden in black disguise. Benny sprays Tybalt's well and accidentally triggers a security light. During the escape, Nomeo ends up in a nearby garden where he bumps into a disguised Juliet. They fall in love looking for a unique orchid, but notice each other's colors before going back to their own gardens. After this, Nomeo and Juliet have a secret meeting in the nearby garden where they meet a pink plastic flamingo named Featherstone who encourages their love. Lord Redbrick pairs Juliet with a red gnome named Paris, but Juliet isn't interested in him and distracts him with her friend Nanette who has feelings for him. The red gnomes destroy a plant in the blue yard and the blue gnomes demand that Nomeo takes revenge. Before he can though, Juliet sees him and he backs down. Upon exiting after explaining what he was doing on the red side to Juliet, him and Tybalt get into a fight which inevitably ends with Tybalt crashing his lawnmower and being shattered. This causes the red gnomes to attack Nomeo, but Juliet stops them. She reveals that she loves him. It is at this point that Redbook then takes Juliet and glues her to the fountain because he refuses to lose her. The blue gnomes mistake Nomeo for being killed, and this causes Benny to go into the blue house and change the order of the new lawnmower to a Terraforminator unit. And I'll just leave this right here. Are you losing the war in your garden? Well, brother, maybe it's time for a secret weapon. Terra Terminator! It's the most ruthless, 500 horsepower, grass-dominating piece of hardware the world has ever seen. Terra Terminator! It's unnecessarily powerful. Now with 75% more power, it clears. Clear. However, the turret... A Furminator, oh my god, goes out of control, destroys most of the two gardens, and gets itself stuck while the gnomes wage a full scale war. Meanwhile, Featherstone helps Nomeo make his way to Juliet, but when he arrives, the Terra Furminator frees itself, sending it flying. Nomeo tries to unglue Juliet, but is unable to. She tells him to go, but he refuses. The two share a passionate kiss just as the lawnmower crashes into the fountain, self-destructing in the process. When everyone believes that both are dead, Lord Redbrick and Lady Blueberry decide to end the feud miraculously. Nomeo and Juliet emerge from the ruins and the two clans celebrate. The film ends happily with the red and blue gnomes finally coming together to celebrate their newfound peace. Tybalt is revealed to still be alive, having been glued back together, and then Featherstone is reunited with his wife after Benny finds and orders her online, and Nomeo and Juliet are married on a purple lawnmower, which symbolizes the new union of both the gnome clans. Well, there you go, guys. That was a rundown of Nomeo and Juliet leading into Sherlock Gnomes coming out this week. If you liked this video, if you like our new format, please leave us a like, a comment, please subscribe to us and spread these videos with your friends. It really helps out a lot. Thanks so much, guys, and we will see you guys next time.